Hello everyone and welcome to rchelp.com. I'm Tony and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the mode on your Spectrum DX8. The first thing you want to do is flip it over and remove these two little rubber blocks. To remove the rubber block I just get a flat bladed screwdriver and then just kind of pry them out of there. That's all they look like. They'll pop right out. If you do like I almost did there and push it in you're going to have to take this whole thing apart. I'll show you that in another video. All right, once you have your plugs out, the next thing you need to do, and this may scare the crap out of you with a $400 transmitter, but you need to grab a hold of this and you need to pull it up from the top. You're gonna see we've got a bunch of double-sided tape right here. Don't take this bottom piece off. I guess you can, but I'm not going to. But you need to do that on both sides. Yours might not come off this easy. I've had mine on and off a couple times because I'm curious. And what you're going to notice once you get them back, you're going to notice up and down arrows, left and right arrows, and an M. Over here, you've got your up and down arrows, your left and right arrows, and then also your M. Now what that is, this is going to be elevator or throttle, depending on your mode. This one's my elevator. This one is going to be your elevator or throttle, depending on what it is. This one just happens to be my throttle from mode 2. This one is going to be your rudder, and then this one here is going to be your aileron. Now the M, there's a little screw inside these M. And what that screw is, is you've got your stick and it's got two paddles on it. And the paddle is gonna push this thing down, just got a spring on it to give you that centering action of your stick. What these little screws do inside that little M pot is, it basically pushes that down so there is no centering. And the reason you don't want centering is because you want to be able to put the throttle wherever you want it. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna back these screws off and you wanna back them off until this stick is just falling down loose. In my case, it's gonna be the left one. Now, as you can see, it's kinda of just flopping around there. I might be able to go just a little bit more. If you go too far and lose a screw, you're gonna to have to take this case apart. Now, as you can see here, it falls under its own weight. Now what you want to do is go into this hole marked M, put your screwdriver on that screw, and while you're holding it, you want to watch this stick. As you start to unscrew it, that stick is going to start to center itself. Once it centers, back it off about a half turn and then leave it there. Now we've got a little bit of centering, but it's still really weak. Now what you want to do is you got your up down arrows over here and we need to tighten this up. If you're like me, you may need to hunt for that little sucker. But just start tightening it down and what that's going to do is it's going to tighten the spring that's in there. Now be careful, if you over tighten it, it may pop the spring, it may not, I'm not sure. But I know on mine I've got to go about 10 turns and then come back here and feel your stick. That's a little bit too tight. So what I'll do is I'll just back that screw off a little bit and get this tension set right where I want it. That feels pretty good. Now we have a stick that centers. The problem is we have two sticks that center. Now what we gotta do, since we have centering on all sticks, we need to screw this one in to disable the centering on this stick here. Stick your screwdriver down in there and then tighten this all the way down until it bottoms out. You don't have to go He-Man on it. Now this one is just kind of flopping around. Now what we want to do is you want to go into this hole and tighten one of the two screws, whichever one you want. If you want the ratchet feeling, tighten the left screw. If you want the smooth feeling, tighten the right screw. I'll go ahead and just tighten this left screw so that you guys can hear it. Once that's done, there you go. We've got our throttle over here, we've got our elevator over here, but only on the sticks. Now what we gotta do is we gotta go in to the menu. Now to change the mode in the actual radio and not just on the sticks, this is extremely easy. Push and hold the top of your roller and turn your radio on. Once you're in the system setup menu, scroll down to system settings. Click in here, scroll down to the mode, 
click on it, scroll over to mode one or mode two, whichever one you happen to be on. Click, go up here to list. Now, you can go into here. However, that's the warning you're gonna get. You're gonna have to hold this one down. But that's only if you go back into this menu. What you should do is turn your radio off. Once your radio is off, make sure this stick is all the way down and go ahead and turn it on. What it's going to do is it's going to ask you to calibrate your sticks. On your left stick, it's going to ask you to cycle them and to center them. This one's obviously going to center by itself. So what I'm going to do, come in here, now you want to look at your little deal over here and center it. Once it's centered and it says OK, just scroll over to save. Now that's on your throttle. Now what we can do is we can go in here to monitor. Now you can see the very top one is going to be your throttle and your elevator. You can see moves right there. Guys, that's as easy as it is to change from mode 1 to mode 2. If you want mode 2 to mode 1, it's just opposite of what I've just done. If you guys have any questions, come over to form and post up. We'll help you guys out any way we possibly can. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.